I am going to explain about TAR command. TAR stands for tape archive. It is used to compress the files and directories in a compressed archive files. To create a new TAR file, use the following command TAR CVF and the file name for the tar file you are going to create and specify the directory you need to compress now the tar file is created To create a gzip compress file, use the following command tar cv zf to the file name for the compress file dot 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 gz, then the directory name need to compress now the tar.gz file is created to create a bz2 compress file use the following command tar-cvjf the file name for the compress file tar.bz2 then specify the directory now the tar.bz2 file is created among these three tar.bz2 is more efficient it can compress less but tar.bz2 takes more time than the other two methods to extract a tar file use the following command tar xvf then the tar file name This command will ex extract the files in the same location. It is the current working directory. To extract the files to a different path, you need to specify the path command is tar xvf then the tar file name c and mention the path here now the files are extracted to the directory in new To extract the tar.gz files, use the following command tar-xvf, then the tar.gz file name, To extract to a specific path, you see following command tar xvf in the file name iPhone C and specify the path.
Now the files are extracted to the directory here. To extract the tar.pz2 files, use the following command tar open xpf and specify the file name of the tar.pz2 file. To extract to the specific location with the following command top if an XPF the file name now specify the path Before mentioning the path, we need to add hyphen C. Now the files are extracted to the directory new. To list the content of the tar file, use the following command tar hyphen tvf in the tar file name. Now the content of the file.tar is listed. To extract a single file from a tar file, you can use the following command tar xvf and the tar file name and the path of the file you need to extract. Now this single file is extracted. To extract a single directory from the tar file, use the following command tar xvf in the tar file name. In the directory you need to extract you need to mention the path of the directory now the directory new alone is extracted To extract multiple files from the tar file, use the following command tar xvf and specify the file path. And end it with double quotes and mention the uh, another file you need to extract and mention its path. And mention the file name files dot now the two files are extracted to the directory files to extract multiple files from the tar.gz file use the following command tar hyphen 
xz vf mention the file name of the tar.gz file and specify the path of the file you need to extract and you mention the path of the other file you need to extract Now the two files are extracted to the directory files. To extract multiple files from tar.bz2 files, use the following command tar j xvf then the file name of the tar.bz2 file then specify the path of the files we need to extract and specify the path of specify the path of the other file now the two files are extracted into a directory files To extract the tar file using wildcard, use the following command tar hyphen xvf hyphen hyphen and specify the file name tar file name or the hyphen hyphen wildcard. specify the file format you need to extract now the two document files file format files are extracted to the directory files to extract the tar.gz file using wildcard use the following command tar hyphen zx vf and then the file name and hyphen hyphen wildcard and mention the file format I need to extract Now the document file has been extracted in the directory files. To extract the tar.pz2 files using wildcard, use the following command tar iPhone J X V F the file name iPhone iPhone wildcard then mention the file format we need to extract
now only the top one file has been extracted to the directory files to add a new file to existing tar file use the following command now I'm, I am going to add the new.txt file into the files.tar file first we can view the contents of the files.tar file tar hyphen tvf files.tar now there is no file as new.txt now I am going to add this new.txt to this file of files.tar file the command is tar hyphen rvf the tar file name and the file name we are going to add that is new.txt now the new.txt file is added to the tar file files.tar now I am going to view this files.tar file now the new.txt file is added to this to add a new directory to existing tar file use the following command tar hyphen rvf and the tar file name the directory name you need to add now the new directory is added to the tar file files tar to view that tar hyphen tvf and the tar file name now the new directory is added to the tar file to check the integrity of the tar file use the following command tar tvfw then the tar file name To check the integrity of the tar.gz file, use the following command tar tvxw and the tar.gz file name. You cannot verify the integrity in the tar.bz.gz file and tar.bz2 file. So the error occurs like this. To delete a file from a tar file, you can use the following command tar hyphen hyphen delete. hyphen d and specify the tar file name then the file you need to delete from the file tar file hyphen d hyphen f should be given to delete a file now the new.txt file is removed from the file 
files dot doc. Now let's view. Now the new dot text file is removed. To remove a directory from a tar file, you can use the following command. To find the size of the tar file, use the following command tar cf and specify the name of the file you got to find. News pipe symbol, word count, the space of the tar file is now displayed. To view the size of the tar.gz file, use the following command tar. iPhone user CF iPhone file name and word count is one. Now the file size is now displayed. To view the size of the tar.bz2 file the following command is used tar iphone jcf iphone file name tar.bz2 the word count is 1 or the size of the BZ2 file is now displayed.